All right. Hi, everyone. We're back in GeoGuessr. We're in the US Canada map. It was suggested by Josh EK or Frost. I'm not sure which name I'm supposed to use to refer to your name. I'm sorry, but uh, he suggested this map. It is uh, made for streaks. There are 500 locations in every state and province and two of the territories, except for none of it. Uh, however, I know I'm not going to do well at this, so I'm not going to bother with streaks. What I'm going to do is testing my overall accuracy. I don't know how many rounds I'm going to do. It depends how long they take, but I'll probably do, say, 25 or 20, 25, 30, something like that. Uh, total rounds, and I'll just figure out my accuracy rate based on how many of them I can get right. I can't figure out how to make the streak plugin thing work again with the new GeoGuessr, or not new, but the update GeoGuessr had a few months ago. So I'm just going to be using this. I'll update this after every round, or every game, I mean, uh, just to count how many I've gotten right. Hopefully I remember how many games I've actually played. Um, but yeah, let's get this started. And I'm going to do it no moving, so that's what's going to make it very difficult. Pretty much license plates and flags are the only way that I think I can do this, other than just taking wild guesses at a lot of these. So this is Idaho. We can tell by their plates, so I'm happy with this one's very easy. Okay, there we go, Twin Falls. So it's not all going to be like that. I've played a few games of this already just to test what the map was like, and um, yeah, it's... This one is much harder. This one's much more representative of what a lot of the rounds are like. I don't know how well a... Because honestly, I don't watch a ton of GeoGuessr on, on YouTube. Um, but... Yeah, I'm just wondering how... Someone who's really familiar with... Like, who's good at country streaks. Who can get stuff w with bollards and all that type of thing. Uh, that type of clue for worldwide maps. I wonder how like good they would be at this. Um anyway. Yeah, this one I have no idea. All I can see is that there's no front plate and it is kind of kind of a southern type of feel to me. Southern or like this area here. Not like not deep south, but like Kentucky, maybe Tennessee, Ohio, this southern part of Ohio. Um, I know a lot of those southern states don't have front plates. I'm not sure which ones are exactly don't. Uh, I'm pretty sure all of these ones don't have front plates. Uh, I'm not sure about North Carolina, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna go Tennessee. I think on this one. Wow. That was just a wild guess, so it was kind of, I guess those aren't really Nashville suburbs because they don't really go that far north because of the mountains or the hills here, but um, pretty close to Nashville anyway, so we're doing well here. There's only two rounds, but it's not what I was expecting at all. I feel like, oh, Austin, there we go. That's helpful. Is this Austin, Texas, though? The only other Austin I know of is like that little town in Nevada, so I don't think it's going to be that. So let's go. Oh, we have a city. We might as well click on it. I'm not going to bother pinpointing it, but yes, okay, it was the correct Austin. So we're actually at a streak of three. I wasn't planning on. I like I didn't bother doing streaks because I didn't think I'd uh, didn't think I'd ever have a streak of more than two. But uh, yeah, this one looks a lot harder. Don't have any signs other than like these ones but they're not very generic signs so not not helpful for um figuring out the area i will say southern again but i'm not sure like they have these nice are these like oak trees or something i'm not sure what they are but whatever uh, i'm gonna go with uh georgia on this one that was arkansas so it's up near the where walmart is from this I guess they just call it Northwest Arkansas, but like that Fayetteville Rogers area. So that's the first incorrect one so far, but we're at three out of four. Or yeah, three out of four. We've got front plates. Oh, just on the, the Camaro here, but this guy doesn't have a front plate. This one doesn't have a front plate, so I'm not sure if this is uh, reliable because in places that don't have front plates, 
oftentimes people will put something there like a souvenir license plate or something or it could be a like a dealership um, tag so I'm not sure or it could be from another state but I'm not gonna trust this guy I mean I'll take it into consideration but I'm not gonna rely exclusively on that I'm thinking a bit like kind of uh, this area like kind of Midwestern but a bit farther east like Ohio I'm not sure what that is again so I'm hmm, probably I don't know it kind of reminds me of Mississippi though but they could have driven up from hmm okay yeah it, it could be a state like adjacent to Mississippi like Arkansas even though I know I said up there but um Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to go Mississippi, though. Just Oh, no, they don't have front plates in Mississippi, so that's not... I'm not going to use that guy, as I said earlier. I'm, I think I'm just going to go with Ohio, because that's what I said originally. South Carolina. Okay, so... I don't know if that was a South Carolina plate. I'm not sure if they use front plates there. Anyway, so good start, but not a good ending. We're at three after the first game, so... So the two that I got right, well, the three that I got right, I actually got pretty close within the state, too. Um, but yeah, let's do the second game here. You got a Florida plate there. Uh, do I want to trust that, though? Because Florida is a big state. There's a lot of people who have family who have moved down there or have moved down there and might be visiting somewhere else because oh wait i think that's actually a florida plate too because honestly this doesn't look like florida to me but it could be up near jacksonville and then this guy has a front plate could be in like georgia too or one of the adjacent states but i'm just going to say florida i feel like if you get the license plate right in front of your face there i should just go with it yeah okay that was a dumb idea because it didn't look like florida to me really but uh yeah i relied too much on that plate Ah, damn it. Okay. It's very annoying when I like I say why I'm not why I shouldn't trust that clue, but then I use the clue anyway and get it wrong. This is kind of dumb, but anyway, let's move on here. Um Are these New Jersey plates? I can't tell cuz that one has some stuff going on at the bottom. I think it's New Jersey though the houses yeah the houses look like that part of the country and every single plate looks like New Jersey so I'm not gonna go with Pennsylvania or New York yeah so it's New York um, New York City suburbs Union um, Wow now there's a train horn in the background I don't understand why it's so loud I've mentioned that many times before but I mean, I do live on a busy road and everything next to a train thing, so it is quite loud quite often, but it seems to be loud, loudest every time I'm recording. <laughs> anyway, um, I think this is kind of a bit farther north than I was originally thinking, because I was thinking southern at first, but now I'm thinking like West Virginia maybe, so let's just go with that. No, oh, it was Southern, so Mississippi. Um, yeah, I'm not doing well at all here, but that's what I, that's how I predicted I would do. Uh, I think this one could actually be Canada. I'm not sure where, but I am going to say New Brunswick. I'm not getting any clues here, so I'm just going to go quickly. Oh, it was Canada, but it was Ontario. So, this game so far is not going well. I got the first four wrong. This one's definitely American. Um, I'm actually thinking this is quite western though, like somewhere like Idaho. But I don't see any mountains anywhere, even off in the distance. Um, you know what, this might be a bad guess, but I'm... Wait, actually, no, it would be a bad guess. I was going to say somewhere like eastern Colorado, but I feel like... Is this too green to be that area? 
Could even be like Central Valley of California, but I don't see mountains off, especially off to the east. There should be mountains. Um, but there are kind of like rolling hills though. So, because the area I was thinking at first was like this part of Idaho, but I don't think it's there. Um, so I'm going to actually go, I think, yeah, let's do that. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this area, like Eastern Colorado. Oh no, it was Idaho. Damn it. I should have just gone with my gut there. Shit, so I'm not doing well here. I'm at 30% accuracy so far, an entire game with no correct guesses. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking some of these. Maybe I should just do it quicker. Um, isn't that a Michigan plate? I can't... No, it's Connecticut. I can't tell if that's just how the... Like, the lighting is that makes it look like it's that the Michigan, like, the bar at the top. Because Connecticut's is like a gradual fading out of the blue, right? Or is it the other way? Like, I can't remember if the blue starts at the top. I don't remember with Connecticut, but let's look at the surroundings a bit. Actually, I think Connecticut is a bit more likely than Michigan on this one. So let's go with it. I mean, again, they're not necessarily... They are at, at their house, it looks like, but um, they could be. it could be an out-of-state plate. Okay, it was Connecticut. Okay, this is Canada. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Uh, Pinawa and Lac du Bonnet. So I don't actually know what uh, where those are, but I'm going to say that it's either Saskatchewan or Manitoba. As is the other thing I was going to say. For some reason, I didn't think it was Alberta from the beginning. Well, I guess because I would have heard of these places if they were in Alberta, I would assume. I'm not as familiar with um, Manitoba, and these places are far enough from Ontario that it has to be Manitoba based on those distances. We're like, I don't know, somewhere over here. There we go. Okay, this is interesting. Birch trees. Um, the color of the sign doesn't look like Canadian signs. Actually, I don't think, I don't know what other provinces have, but I don't recall ever seeing a school bus stop. I think that's a school bus. I can't really see it. I think it's a school bus ahead sign, but I don't recall ever seeing those in BC. I think actually they're in like the driver's manual, but I just don't see them maybe because I don't really drive places where we actually have school bus service. But uh, anyway, I think it's the US though can't see the license plate uh, this one's gonna be tough but I'm gonna go with uh, Montana I think it could be Idaho too but I'm not sure <laughs> what the fuck oh, okay so it was New Hampshire Wow completely that's that was gotta be my or that has got to be my worst guess so far completely opposite end of the country there Wow okay so, um, it's quite flat, but not like, not like perfectly flat. We got rolling hills. And it's the U.S. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is, this is one of those ones that's very hard. It could be any of these, so it's going to just be kind of a wild guess. I'm going to go Nebraska. Oh, wow. It's almost so close to being right. But it was Kansas, just not that far into the uh, into the state. But uh, still, doesn't matter how close you are with these things. Okay, is this Newfoundland or Maritimes or Atlantic Canada? I don't know if Newfoundland is considered Maritimes by people who are actually from there. Um, I feel like as someone from the West Coast, it's all considered Maritimes, but I don't know. Anyway, it's Eastern Canada. Um, I can't really see the license plates close enough. I can't see if they have front plates either, so I'm just going to go with my initial instinct and go Newfoundland. Yep. Okay, how did I do? I don't even remember how many I got right. Uh, three, okay, so... 
so we're up to six out of 15. So wait, that was 15, right? Yeah, it's 15. So quite a bit less than half. So not very good. So I have to do four out of five here to remain at half. Uh, doesn't seem like a good start here. This one doesn't look very, it looks kind of more Western to me. Oh, there's cacti, cacti, cactus. What are they called? Cacti, I guess is plural. Um, yeah, so we have those things anyway. I'm going to say New Mexico, actually. Oh, this is kind of interesting. That looks like there's a bit of snow left over. But, but uh, yeah, it could be Texas too, maybe. So I'm going to go New Mexico. New Mexico and Texas are both equally likely because of how it's balanced. Wow, look at that. Got the uh, latitude perfect almost, but it was quite a ways into Texas near Abilene. So, yeah, that's the annoying thing with how... Uh, streaks and like these kind of u.s state accuracy things work is doesn't really matter how close you are if you don't get the state right like i could have guessed somewhere like uh like uh beaumont or something or mccallan and and still would get it right but even though i was pretty close there actually it wasn't close but i was close to texas but uh yeah just outside of the border anyway um welcome to the flames of fire i think that says i don't know uh, i can't really see anything that would indicate a state license plates are all too far away it's just going to be based on the trees and the buildings i guess doesn't look very southern to me i'm gonna go like this area midwestern maybe uh maybe ohio oh it was delaware wow not what is not what i was expecting but i won't get to 50 percent uh in this round okay this one could be arizona nevada or new mexico um maybe even texas actually leaning towards Nevada am I what what highway would this be if it's Nevada though 95 maybe no 95 is not oh actually yeah maybe up near Reno or on the way to Reno so I'm gonna go Nevada on this one come on ah shit oh it's actually like the Phoenix metro area wow so it wasn't a highway damn it that's annoying because that's one where there's not that many states it could be. I just chose the wrong one. Okay. 401 area code. Where is that? I have no idea. And I'm honestly not even sure what country this is. And I'm going to say it's the U.S. Can I get, I see a sign for a school zone, but I don't see any actual speed limit. Oh, it looks like a very rich area though. Kind of a out, like semi-rural area. Um, I don't know. I'm going to go. Some of these trees are kind of weird though. Throwing me off. Uh, I'm going to go up like Massachusetts maybe. Don't even see any cars. Ah, Rhode Island. So again, very close, but it uh, doesn't matter because I'm not in the right state. I could have guessed Alaska and it would have the same result. So uh, front plates here. Can't see them clear enough, unfortunately. Oh, I think, isn't that a Virginia plate? I think it's a Virginia plate. I'm just going to go with it then. It's mountainous, so let's go over here somewhere near whatever. What's over here? Nothing really big, but anyway, let's go there. And it was near Roanoke. So, is that only one? Yeah, that's only one right. Oh, damn. Okay, so we're at 7 out of 20. So, 35%, I guess, if I'm doing my math right. That's not good at all, but honestly, not 
like that's pretty much what I expected. Um, oh, damn it! I wish you could see this sign. I don't think it would be useful actually. Oh, it's a no passing after the. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, it's no passing sign, so it's not going to be too helpful there. We have another sign there, but I can't see it. So it's kind of like semi desert, um, semi arid type of thing, but there are some big mountains with snow up here. Um, so I'm thinking it could be Eastern Oregon. Uh, a lot of northern Nevada has crappy old coverage, so I'm probably not going to go Nevada. Could be Utah also, or Wyoming, but I think I'm going to go with eastern Oregon because that was my... Ah, shit, it was Utah. Because that was my first guess was um, Oregon, that part of Oregon, but unfortunately, yeah, just couldn't get it. So another one where I'm not going to spend much time on it because I don't think I can actually get many clues out of this one. We have some uh, corn, I think. I don't know. Railway crossings, I think, look relatively similar in every state. I haven't gotten a lot of provinces in these ones. I think I've gotten two Canadian rounds and only got one of them right. Um, but yeah, this is going to be like Iowa or something. Ohio, okay. Yeah, so I'm not sure how I'm supposed to have gotten that one, but uh, yeah, let's see. This one's going to be even harder. The crest of the hill here pretty much makes only this direction useful, but there's not much uh, information here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to go with West Virginia. Ah, Connecticut, wow. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Way too far south. Okay, this is is Canada. I'm going to go with BC on this one. I'm not sure. Could be a lot of places, but... Oh, it's Alaska. Crap. Okay, so, got the country wrong for the first time in this video. Maybe I should have thought of that a bit more. Or thought about it a bit more, but... Uh, yeah, kind of rushed that one. I was pretty confident with that guess. Well, kind of. Old Pomerine Road. Um, I think I'm going to go Arizona on this one. It seems like we have a bit of a town here. Um, yeah, let's go Arizona. Yep, there we go. So Pomerine was a town. Haven't heard of it though. So that was only one correct one. So we're up to 8 out of 25. Not good. Not at all. This could be Canada, but it could be pretty much any of the uh, Midwestern or like the Great Plains states. I know though that Canada has quite a lot of coverage on these types of roads. Although there are quite a lot of trees. There's too many trees to be like Saskatchewan or Manitoba. I am going to go with... Hmm. This might be a dumb guess, but I'm going to go with Southern Ontario. Oh, this is Manitoba. Okay, so... I don't know why I said the thing about the trees, because thinking about it now, all this area is forest completely, so that was dumb. The forest kind of only really rules out a lot of Saskatchewan, but yeah, I should have gone with Manitoba. Damn it. Okay, let's move on here. This is one that I'm not sure what country it is. That's a New Hampshire plate, I'm pretty sure. Let's just get into it then. There we go, Manchester. Okay, we got an American flag. Wouldn't it be nice if more people had state flags, at least like for these videos or these maps? Um, that'd be very helpful. Anyway, I don't know. This is going to be another wild guess. Let's go Illinois. This <laughs> is New Jersey. Wait, could I have gotten a license plate on that one?
No, there's no cars in sight. Okay. I think this is actually in Canada. It's kind of smoky though. I'm not sure which areas have that kind of coverage. Hazel Dell Cemetery, so it's English. Actually, no, it's not necessarily a single line. It's just a very faded uh, line, like single line with a, uh, a passing lane, like a dotted line. Um, but I am still gonna say Canada. I'm gonna say New Brunswick. What? Okay, so the thing I said about trees earlier, again, wasn't wasn't the case at all. So at least I got that it was Canada, right? But uh, yeah, I guess this part of Saskatchewan is a bit more forested. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go Florida on this one. I think I have to. I don't know what else it could be. It could be maybe the Gulf Coast of Texas. But yeah, there we go. So how many was that? Uh, just two. So we're at 10 out of 30, I believe. So I think I'm going to end it here. 33%, uh, one third. Pretty bad. I was predicting about 50, but uh, turns out a lot harder than I thought. I got a good start there, three in a row, I think. But yeah, the uh, the luck didn't, didn't uh, continue at all. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is why I don't post streak things on my channel much. I'm very bad at them. Uh, well, this wasn't a streak thing. It was an accuracy test. I think my highest streak was the, the first three rounds with the three in a row. But anyway, thanks for watching.